Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here and do a requested video over this bag right here, which is the Hunt and Carry All. And the color combo I have mine in is in taupe with the brushed silver hardware. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about this bag, show you what fits in here, and also my thoughts are at the very end too. Um, so if you're interested in this video, do stay tuned. Also, if you like these kind of videos, do consider liking, subscribing, because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you like handbags and stuff, um, consider liking and subscribing. Just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, all the bags I talk about on my channel are from my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. The Hot and Carry All, as you can see, it's like a pretty like square-shaped bag. Um, it has like super clean lines, I think. And it's also pretty minimal too. There's not like a ton of hardware with this bag. Um, because on the front it just has like the main like turn lock detail for like the Hutton collection, which is like this rectangular turn lock. And then it actually is you know access to the front pocket, and then it has these two um little arms right there on the front. And on the back of the bag, you'll see that there's like a back pocket right here, which is magnetic, so it just closes by itself and it is also lined in like um, burgundy microfiber as well and then you'll also notice too that there are these like two like um leather tabs here from the front that wraps around the sides to the back and you can't actually open these and expand the bag too so if you need to carry like more stuff you can always like expand the bag by undoing the little um, leather tabs on the side and they're just held together by um this little d-ring here on the sides and then on this Z ring here, you'll notice that there's like a smaller ring attached to it. And that is where the hang tag will actually hang on. Um, the hang tag is just going to be embossed with coach and it's going to be plain on the back. The bottom of the bag, you'll see that it's like kind of reinforced because there's like a um, leather panel here with like four little silver feet at the bottom. And here's also like a close up of the leather too. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not like actually super smooth there's like little like ridges or striations like throughout the leather so it kind of reminds me of like a really fine like epi leather if that makes sense so yeah there's the hat and on the inside of the bag you'll notice that there's like two open compartments here and a center zip section as well so it's lined in like a burgundy microfiber on each side and then in the center zip compartment it's just gonna be lined in like the standard coach fabric um, so in the fabric, you'll notice that it just says coach throughout. And then on the back here, you have your story patch attached to a small, um, zip pocket that is also lined in the fabric as well. And all I have in here, I think is just like the care instructions and the price tag to the bag. And then the other thing too, is that on the interior of the bags, like on each corner here is where like the little D rings are for like the crossbody strap. So you have like a ring right here. Here, and then a ring right here as well where you attach the um, crossbody strap to the bag. And then when it comes to like the shoulder strap itself, as you can see, it's like a pretty thick shoulder strap overall. Um, so I would say this is probably like double the thickness of like a standard like coach crossbody strap. So this is a pretty thick crossbody strap. It has a large silver buckle here that you can adjust um, the length of the bag. And for me to have this bag as like a true crossbody, I'm 5'7 and like 200 pounds. So I have it at the very last setting and I believe you have seven adjustments. If I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so you have seven adjustments and they're just hooked um, like to hook like the bag strap to the bag. You just use like the little dog clips on the ends here. So they're also in silver too. So here's what the bag looks like with the crossbody strap on. It just like hooks diagonally on each side via these little D rings right here. And they just like hide inside the bag. So it's a pretty like clean and streamlined look. So when you do like carry the bag, you won't really see like the D rings that they're attached to. And another cool feature too is that the handles on these are kind of like the robe bags. You know those. Um, they actually fold inside of the bag, so you can just like completely hide the top handles too, which I think is super cool. Um, so if you want to not have it be super fussy, um, you can just like tuck the top handles inside of this bag and just carry it like that as a crossbody bag. So yeah, that's pretty cool and nifty of the Hutton Carry All. 
So before I show you guys everything I'm able to fit inside of the Hot and Carry All, I do want to just do like a quick comparison next to the Rogue 25. So here they are next to each other. Um, this is the Rogue 25 in the color Beechwood, and then the Hut and Carry All in the color Taupe. So as you can see, um, the two bags next to each other are super similar, but I would say the main difference is that the Rogue itself is a little bit more of a casual bag, um, just due to the fact that it's like pebbled leather and um, it's just like super squishy as you can see, versus the um, Hunt and Carol, which is a little bit more refined in the like leather that they chose to make this bag in, and it's also like super rigid too. Um, the key thing about this bag is that you do get a larger interior zip compartment. So if that is something that you are like concerned with, um, I would go with the Rome 25 just because you do have a lot of space in the center here. I just have it stuffed with like um, dust bags and stuff. But as you can see, it's like more spacious on the middle section here versus the Hutton Carry All, which um, is not as spacious on its middle compartment, but a lot more spacious on the exterior compartment. So yeah, there's that. And one more thing really fast is a quick color comparison. So if you're interested in knowing like what the differences are between these two colors, um, the color Beechwood, in my opinion, is just like a tad bit warmer than um, Taupe. I feel like Taupe is a little bit cooler as a neutral color, like as like a beige. And it's also like paired with silver hardware. So it makes it even more of a cool color, in my opinion. So if you want like a cooler neutral, then I would go with um, Taupe. But if you want like a warmer neutral, I would go with Beechwood. So yeah, hopefully that wasn't too confusing, but yeah, that's just a quick color comparison of the two. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys everything I'm able to fit inside of the Hutton Carry All. Okay, so first is my wallet, and I just use this medium zip around wallet sometimes when carrying a larger bag. Um, I don't actually use this wallet very often, but when I do, I like it a lot because there's a lot of card space. So there's that. Right. Next are my two pouches. Um, first is this little turn lock saddle pouch in the chambray like um, color combination and this houses my headphones. And next is my little Kate Speed pouch, which holds my everyday essentials. So I have my mask, um, Germex, and other miscellaneous items in here as well. Next is a chapstick and my actual bottle of Germex because this was actually not in there. LOL, but here it is. So I'll put those in there as well. And the last two items are my charger and my phone. Um, I'm using my phone to film, so I'm gonna play around my phone case. And I would also put my keys in here too, but I misplaced my keys and I did not want to put an effort in finding my keys for this video. Um, so yeah, so my keys would also fit in here as well. So there's that. That's what it looks like inside of the Hut and Carry All. So I have my wallet and my pouch in the back compartment here. And then in the front section, I just have all my other miscellaneous items. So I have my phone case, charger, and the little Turlock saddle pouch as well. Um, and if you're interested, the back pocket does actually fit a phone. I have the iPhone XR, so it's probably a tad smaller than like the newer iPhone. So back here, I am able to fit my phone comfortably and it does close as well. And um, it doesn't really like distort the bag, it actually lays pretty nicely. So there's that. And yeah, so now I'll tell you guys uh, my overall thoughts on the Hut and Carry All. That's a Hunt Carol. I do like this bag a lot. I think for me personally, I just like this bag because it's a very minimal and sleek design and it looks very polished too. There's just something about the leather and the hardware combination. I don't know, that makes this bag look really chic and elegant. Um, and it's not like it's trying too hard, you know, like it's very minimal and refined. And the other thing too I really appreciate about the Hunt Carry All is its actual like interior design. Um, so as you can see, like the back and front compartments are a lot larger than the center zip section. And I like that because I personally just don't use a lot of pockets. So I just have my items like stuffed here, which is like how you guys like saw it earlier. Um, so I will actually use like these compartments over the center zip section. So I like that I can have more like free space to keep things, you know, in here, but not have to use a center zip compartment. And um, another thing too is that if you're wondering, the center zip compartment is actually completely sewn down to the bottom of the bag. So your items actually won't slide from one side to another. So yeah, if you're concerned about that, um, the bottom is sewn down. The center compartment is sewn down to the bottom. So yeah.
So it does it for today's video over the Hutton Carry All in the color taupe with silver hardware. Um, hopefully, if you guys liked this video enough, um, consider liking, subscribing, and if you have any more questions about the bag, um, just leave a comment down below and I can try to like answer them for you, or you can message me on Instagram as well. I'm more active on there, so I will try to reply back to you um, ASAP. Um, but other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!